Walking in the light is very, very huge topic. But uh, I will take some uh, specific points talking about this. So, first of all, I would like to, to ask you, what is the opposite of light? The darkness. The darkness, right. Uh, have you been, uh, sometimes in your childhood, uh, like a fair about uh, darkness? Yeah. Yes. Afraid. Afraid about the darkness. Yes. ¿Sintieron a miedo alguna vez de la, de la oscuridad? Mm -hmm. Cuando eran pequeños? Sí, claro. Uh, maybe you were thinking, uh, ok, now I have to go to my bed. Yo necesito ir a mi, a, a mi cama ahora. Y mis padres se van a dormir. My father or so our parents will go to, to the bed too. Now, it's a little hard to go to bed now. Es como difícil ir a una sola cama when they go to bed too. So, Uh, sometimes, uh, usually, that's happened with Andrew Sinton. He, when it's time for go to bed, Brother Jerry knows that. <laughs> that's me, because he was nice. And uh, uh, we put on, we, we put off all lights. Pagamos todas las luces. It's like a little pressure for, for, for him. Okay, now he knows that it's time to go to bed. And he, he starts to, to say that. Oh, I would like to be in your in your in your bed a little a little bit a, a, a little bit a little, little time with you please. Yo quiero estar contigo un poquito en la cama. Sí, sí puedo. Can I? Can I? He said. <laughs> so we allow him to stay with us a little a little time before go to bed. Sometimes not, but you know, every time with, he goes to the bed, so he stay there and he say. Um, Daddy, could you please stay with me a little bit here in my, in my, in my bed? I say, why? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't want to stay here uh, like uh, alone and uh, without light. So I say, Jesus is with you. Yes, I know, he's with me. But I would like to, 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 to have your company to here. <laughs> so uh, I say, okay, let's pray first. And then I will go to, to, to my bed because I am so tired. I, I, I'm tired. So I think every one of, of us, we, uh, we, 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 we had some experience like that. Maybe when we were like a child or maybe when we were teenagers, maybe. Mm -hmm. We had this kind of, of, of situation. And little by little we know that this, this situation without light or in darkness is just a temporal situation, right? We know that. Now when we grow, when we are adults, now we go to the bed without problems, yeah. right? Why? What is the difference between our childhood and our, our um, how do you say? Adulthood. 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 What is the difference? ¿Por qué ustedes cuando eran niños sentían miedo de ir a la cama de noche y por qué cuando son adultos no? ¿Por qué? Conquistamos oh. nuestro miedos. Okay, conquer our afraid? Our fears. fears. Okay, uh, uh, Nicole. Porque ya están acostumbrando. Porque ya uno se está acostumbrando, dice. Because uh, constant to the dark. We get used, we get used to, used to the dark. That doesn't make any sense for us to express <laughs> our fears anymore. <laughs> we still have to go. <laughs> There are some of those. No solution. Okay, some of us, we have a many, many fears, and you know, many people in the world, they have a many fears. This is some phobias uh, that some, some, some of them, like, just three, but it's a big list about phobias. You know what, what is album to phobia? This is fear of bathing, washing, or cleaning. It's curious, but it's real. I don't know, some, maybe some uh, of us, uh, we have this problem, maybe we don't go to the washroom, <laughs> to the bath uh, uh, in certain times, maybe, every two days, maybe, every three days. <laughs> the other one is arachnophobia, this is common, a common phobia. Mm -hmm. Fear. ¿Y en español cómo se dice? Aragnofobia. Es miedo a las arañas. Aragnofobia. Fear of spiders. Spiders, sorry. 
Somnifobia. Del sueño. Fear of sleep. Miedo de dormir. Uh, there are some people that they have fear to go to bed. Or oh, just for sleep. Because they feel like uh, I will not get up. This is a, a other kind of fear. So I have just three here, but the like the, the list is a lot. It's, it's very big. It's very really very big. I don't know if you have you have or have some phobias. For example. You have? Do you well, have? For example? I mean, do you have alguna phobia? Yo, gracias a Dios, mano, ninguna todavía. <laughs> I studied the Bible with a fellow who was in the insane asylum mm -hmm. and he had a very real fear mm -hmm. he was afraid that the world was going to go up in smoke that, that, that there was going to be thermonuclear war and, and everything was going to be gone <laughs> very real fear yeah. you know some person or maybe did you yourself well, I, I have a fear of sleep once, you know, that was, uh, I, in fact, I was a young, very young man, but I was working very uh, long hours for the day. Mm -hmm. I got very little sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a time when I would uh, fall asleep, you know, the few hours I had before I, you know, go back. And there was this, uh, because of a lack of sleep, this, yeah. this was really from a, 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 a lack of sleep. But in my head was this, these noises, you know, as if, um, I remember, as if there were little chicks making noises. So I needed to sleep, of course, as anyone else. But um, those few hours that I had, I, I feared going to sleep. Because when I went off, the, this was this noise in my head. But, you know, I got over it, um, I got over it eventually. Sister. Um, Angela, please. Uh, fear of bats. <coughs> bats, you know the big ones. What are they? Those bats that. Bats are right caves. There. Right. And everywhere I go, there was always one that was close following me. <laughs> everywhere I go, even in college. In college, in, at the university in my country, I used to live on campus. And one day, I was I just finished classes, went back to my room on campus, and there was a bat on the pitch on the floor right in front of my door. Everywhere I go, they would follow me. And I would tell my sisters, and as soon as I tell them the story, there would be one inside the room, and they would say to me, what is wrong with you? There's never been anything like this in our house. Mm -hmm. Brand new man, my sister is the minister of a, is a wife of a Baptist minister. Yeah. They just built the man's, I mean, a huge, enormous, brand new, gorgeous man's. And I was, I shared my fears with her. And I look above the bed and there was one person there never before. They were always following me. When I had my first child, there was one in my hospital room. And I was so scared, I jumped out of bed and I almost died. I have a severe headache, but I think probably I had some kind of blood clot. I just figured that now, looking back. And the nurses came because my heart was pounding so fast and they checked my pressure and all that. Then I realized that this thing was going to kill me if, it, if I didn't overcome the fear because I would run out into the street. Right. You know, if I see the cars coming and one is coming at me, I wouldn't be so much concerned about the cars in the streets as I was with this thing. And I went to a Sunday church once and I said, God, I cannot continue living this way. I'm going to die. Because if I'm on a roof, you know, the schools and some houses in Jamaica, we have roof um, yeah, yeah, right. and roofs and the thing. And if one were to chase me and there was no way of escaping, I would attempt to jump over the roof. And I said, Lord, I cannot continue living like this. So I went to church, Clive's church, open Bible church one Sunday. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go up for prayers. And the minister asked, was there anyone who needed prayers? And I said, God, this is my opportunity. I'm not leaving here 
with this fear. So I went up, and there were two ministers at the time, one on the right and one on the left. And I was pretty much in the middle. And but they were anointing people. Many people went up that day. And um, I said to myself, God, today I'm not going back home with this fear. And the one that came from this end, he didn't realize that I was already anointed. So he anointed me again. So I said, Lord, this might be significant to me. It's like I'm getting a double portion of anointing today. I'm not going back with this fear. And when I went home that evening, sure enough, this big black one was right over my head on the wall. And I said, you know something? You're not going to get me to run tonight. Because I would run. I said, and I could smell it from where I was lying down in the bed. It was like over the wall. Mm -hmm. And I could smell this thing coming, this odor coming from him. But I said, I'm not running. You're not going to cause me to run tonight. And I did not run. And from that day on, my whole attitude and the fear, I still don't like it. Mm -hmm. But the fear left. Mm -hmm. I decided I was not going to let this thing come. Even in college, I'm walking with a group of friends, and boom, right on my lap. Suddenly, all of a sudden, I don't know every, where. Well. And I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and one of the students realized what was going on, and she was so mean. What she did, she killed him and brought a piece of the wing and put it under my microscope. Mm -hmm. Because we were in cellular biology that day. And when I looked through the microscope, I saw this huge thing mm -hmm. looking at because you know, one of the microscopes is magnetic. Yes, I'm I was like, You are so evil. Mm -hmm. I almost reported her, but I just let it go. You know, we are living like yesterday, Brother uh, Clive told us. We are living in this darkness, darkness world. And it's very dangerous to stay here, right? We, we, we have to, to be realized about that. We have to, 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 to know that. Uh, because uh, we need to, to, to face this kind of situation. And what we can, we, we, what we can do uh, when we, have, or we, we are in this situation? We, we need uh, uh, very, very clear points that we have to do. Okay. Uh, thinking in, the, in, in, our, in our first fears, uh, other, other kind of phobia is the phobia to the darkness. This is nyctophobia. Yeah? nyctophobia. This is simple, it was taken from Wikipedia. It's uh, this uh, fear to go to the, to the uh, darkness or, uh, how do you say, dark places. Dark places, right. Mm -hmm. Dark places. It's just this kind of, of situation. You say that characterized by several fear of the darkness. It is triggered by the brain's disfigured perception of what would or could happen when in a darkness environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is probably in our perception. Yes. The problem is inside of our mind yeah. about this, this, this kind of situation. So this is very, 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 very common. Uh, we know. I know uh, a person in Bogota, in Colombia. He he's our member, and he has other kind of, of, of situation phobias. He he has a phobias to stay in a place like, like this place. Um, um, Open space, big. Like like this. Um, and close. Yes, right. How do you say? Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Oh, the same in Spanish. <laughs> Claustrophobia. You know, uh, are they anywhere they are in this church? And suddenly I saw that this man was out. So I, I went to him and I told him, uh, come on brother, go, go inside. Say, no, I, I have to stay here outside. Why? What happened? What, what, what is wrong? Say, said, no, no, I have a problem with claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that. So, but this situation is inside of our minds, our brains, our mm -hmm. minds. Yeah, the scientists, uh, they, they don't take exactly, um, they, they, they don't take a study about the darkness. They are studying, studying light. the light, the lighting. And it's very, very interesting. They discover about speed, 
about the refraction, some um, 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 qualities, qualities of uh, qualities, uh, qualities of the of the light. Yeah, speed, refraction, chemi chemical effects. And do you know what is the speed of the light? Yes, one hundred and eighty-six thousand miles per second squared. Okay, good. <laughs> in kilometers? <laughs> no. Miles is in the States, sister. If you could tell us in, in <laughs> kilometers, we would feel much better. 300,000 300, kilometers per, per second. Okay. In kilometers, it's the same, the same measure. Yeah, do you know how, how much time take the light from the Earth to the Moon? Just one second. Point two. One second point two. From here? Earth to the moon. It's so quick, so quick. About the refraction. The refraction is the sudden change in direction that the light undergoes when change the environment. For example, you have a, um, a cup with water, for example, and you put inside of the water like a pen or flashlight. Um, pen. A pen. A pen. A pen. Yeah. You can see that the pen, in this case, a pencil. It's not straight. It's like, mm -hmm. right? This is refraction. Some qualities of the light. And the other one, the chemical effects. Chemical, chemical effects. You know what is the, the effects the light in our, in our body? Yes. You know what? Sister Angela. What effects does light have on our bodies? It has to do with the um, sting in our skin. Okay. Melanie. Do do you think that it's necessary the light for our 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 skin? Yes. yes. Why? Tell me. For us to produce vitamin D. Right. This is a reaction, chemical reaction. You need to expose your body to the sun regularly, especially here in Calgary. So we're here in Alberta because we don't have enough sun. You you can see outside. Yeah. You have to, some people, you know, I, uh, maybe two weeks ago, uh, in the English class, we had some study about what is the importance of the lighting to our body. And what kind of threat, um, uh, treatment. Treatment. treatments we, the older people, need to do. Yeah, they, they buy some special kind of lamps, lamps yeah. and they expose their... <laughs> yeah, this is very because the vitamin D is necessary for our body. And what happens if you are not exposed to the to the sun regularly or to the, this kind of lights? What happened? Yeah. And what is the process in this kind of deficient in your body? Lack of calcium. No. Lack of calcium. We don't have calcium. Yeah. Other one, you know, maybe Brother Fernando Sister Marcella, they know in 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 um, Calgary, many people there are with the press, with depression. Yeah, depression too. Mm -hmm. Because calcium is Th necessary. Tell them to go to Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> in London. In London. In all Canada. All Canada. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. This is la primera causa de depression. Depression. Mm -hmm. It's very, 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 very important. And when I, years ago, I learned that um, long before I came to North America, that the Syrian Muslims dress, they all, some of them dress from head to toe in black, and black reflects light. So they're not able to get sufficient sunlight to help in the um, absorption of vitamin D. So many of them have severe bone problems, teeth, and dental bad teeth or arthritis and stuff like that. So the, the, the black reflects light, white absorbs light. Mm -hmm. So they are not able to absorb the light because of the black clothing that they always wear. The soup, I think it's a special class of Muslims where all their eyes are covered, head is covered. I mean, the, the only part of their body that's exposed oh, are the eyes. They will wear else is covered and they're in black. So they suffer a lot of times from calcium deficiencies which reflected in their teeth, in their teeth. and right. in their bones. It's very, very important, this kind of, of um, um, 
I mean, the light is very important. Light. Yes. The light. Uh, you know, in the Bible, talk, talking about light, uh, in, in John, especially John, this is a joining key word the, between, inside of, of John. Many, many, many words are key in, 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 in the book of John. Like light, like uh, life, like uh, world. Very, very special, special word. But this, this word is very, very deeper in this, in this book, in the book of John. One of the great journey key words which the, we meet the gospel is the word light. Mm -hmm. This word, of course, in the fourth gospel, I mean, in the John, John gospel, no fewer than 21 times. So it's very important if author of the Bible takes repeatedly times one more, is because for him it's very, very important. Uh, you know, certain Jesus, Jesus is the light of the man, right? This is the application. Jesus is the light of, 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 of the man. John chapter 8, verse 12, and John chapter 9, verse, verse 5, talk about that. Jesus is the light of men. The function of John the baptism was not pointing to that light which was in Christ. Twice Jesus called himself the light of the world. This is two Bible verses that we found that. This light can be in men. This is a, a, a very, very good concept. Not just he is the light, but according, uh, please, looking for in your Bible, John chapter 11, verse 10. John 11, 10. The light can be in men. <laughs> chapter 11 in John, John 10. Um, brother, uh, Fernando, could you please look for John chapter 12, verse 36? This is other, 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 other text. One goes to this. Who has uh, John 11, 10? 11, 10. Sister Angela, please. John 11, verse 10 says, But if a man walk in the night, he stumbled, because there is no light in him. Yeah. Because it's no light in him. So the light can be inside of the man. Very important concept. Then, uh, the other concept is that um, so that they can become children of the light. Read, please, Brother Fernando. 12, 36 in John. This is. Entre tanto que tenéis luz, creed en la luz, para que seáis hijos de luz. Estas cosas habló, habló Jesús. Y se fue y se ocultó de ellos. Thank you. He said, I come, I have come as light unto the world. Chapter 12, verse uh, 36. Let us see if we can understand something of, of this idea of the light which Jesus brings into the world. I have three points, but I will see just one of them <laughs> this afternoon about that. The first concept is that the light Jesus brings is the light which puts chaos to flight. Please remember. Taking this concept, this concept, taking this concept. Uh, remember where was the light and put away the chaos. Creation. Creation. Donde vino la luz y el caos desapareció. En la creación. 